station. No more straws. Can't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> Past ya! <laughs> hmm? Jupiter? <laughs> Jupiter, everything okay? <laughs> I was just thinking, my tummy is getting awfully rumbly. <laughs> yeah, all that scootering around made me a bit hungry too. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Luna, Jupiter, Clyde. How can I help you today? Hi, Antares. Um, we've been scootering around all morning. And boy, are we exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> Two out of this world special smoothies coming up. Strawberries, mango, banana, kale, milk, and almonds. Neat! And some ferret treats. Mm. Yeah! It looks yummy! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Your smoothie mustache! Oh. Huh? Uh, and Taurus, can I have a straw? Thanks. Hmm? Hey, Aunt Terrace messed up. She messed up? Yeah, this is just a metal tube. It's not a real straw. Hmm. No, I think this is a straw. Just a special space station straw. <laughs> oh. Aunt Terrace, can I have a normal straw? Unfortunately, plastic straws are not allowed on the space station. Why not? I don't know. What's wrong with plastic straws? <laughs> What's happening here? What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Let's figure it out. I just gotta know. Wonder, do you think you can't have any plastic in space? <gasps> Mr. Rex, Mr. Rex is plastic. What if something bad happens to him? I'm sure he's okay, but let's go check on him to be sure. <laughs> oh, Mr. Rex, are you okay, Mr. Rex? He looks okay to me. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything else on the space station that's plastic. Okay, boys, it's time for an experiment! Yay! <laughs> Let's investigate and see if we find anything plastic. Uh -huh. <laughs> Clyde, what on earth? <laughs> yes, Clyde, that's definitely plastic. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Official science business. <laughs> I totally understand. Let's see if we can find any more plastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So there's lots of plastic here. Lens caps, tablet pens, and even parts of the space station. And Mr. Rex. <laughs> so, if plastic is okay on the space station and straws are okay, then why can't you have plastic straws? Boys, there's only one thing to do, and that's make believe we're straws. Yay! We're straws. Huh? Hey. But we're on Earth, huh. and not the space station. Ooh! <laughs> that tickles! <laughs> huh? huh? Ooh! <laughs> that does tickle! Whoa! He's drinking coconut water! <laughs> Being a straw is fun! Yeah! <laughs> 
Hmm? Hmm? Oh, man. The coconut water's gone. It's over already? All gone? But it was so much fun being a straw. Yeah. That was really fast. Mm. But maybe we'll get to mm. do it again. Or... Whoa! <gasps> Can we do that again? Clyde! Whoa! Whoa! Clyde! I thought we lost you! Uh, uh, uh. That was a real close one, you guys. Oh, look! We're in the ocean! And I don't even need my floaties. Hmm. Yeah, but now how are we going to find out what's wrong with straws? Ooh. Oh, well, hello, friends. What Ooh. fortunate fate to find your friendly faces floating out here. Huh? Oh, hello. We didn't expect to find another straw out here. Really? Out here in the salty sea, there's so many straws sailing along. It's sad. <gasps> Lots of straws in the ocean? Yes! That's affirmative. An absurd, awful, abundant amount, actually. Look, oh. more straws. Mm. And a plastic cup. Why is there so much plastic out here in the ocean? Why doesn't it get recycled? <sighs> well... No more straws. Millions of straws are used every day. But the flaw with straws is they never go away. No more straws. Straws aren't recycled. We're too little and like most end up in the ocean. Yes, that's right. Millions of straws are used every day, too little and light. Yes, that's right, but plastic can hurt all the animals and fish. No more straws, and that is why we have one little wish. No more straws, no more straws, yeah, that's our cause. No more straws, no more straws. Look at all of this stuff! Look how many straws there are! There must be gazillions! Aw, poor little fishies! Just imagine, you guys, if every person on Earth really did stop using plastic straws. Then there wouldn't be so much trash, would there? <gasps> I get it! That's why we can't mm. use plastic straws on the space station! Oh, it would make too much trash! Exactly! And straws are too hard to recycle like other plastic things. So they just sit out here forever. Forever? Pretty much. Just think, the first straw you ever used might be out here somewhere. <gasps> that's... that's horrible. I can't believe there are billions of plastic straws just floating out in the ocean. Uh, poor fishies. We just have to tell someone. We have to do something. <gasps> Let's put on a show for mom and dad and tell them all about it. Kids, Aww. time to dry off. Lunch time. Yay! Yay! Great! And we got a show for you today. Straws are used every day. 
Good job. <laughs> huh? Here, Clyde, let me help you. You're welcome, Clyde. Hmm. I wonder what makes tape so sticky. And why does it stick to some things and not others? Oh, so many questions! La, 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 la. On the space station! to be the best birthday ever! Yeah, it's your first birthday in space! <laughs> and we have a little surprise for you. Huh? We thought it might be nice to have a little help singing happy birthday. <gasps> Alice, Igor, Tom, Miguel, how are you? Hello? Luna! Birthday! <laughs> How is everything up there in the station? Here comes the cake! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! to sing happy birthday too. Yeah! And it was really funny how they sang after we did. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Kind of curious. Almost like it took longer for them to hear us or something. <gasps> That's what I was thinking. And I was wondering, the space station is so very far from Earth. How can our calls get all the way there anyway? What's happening here? I've just got to know! <laughs> What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Let's figure it out. I just got to know. communicate with Earth from up here in the space station. It must work like cell phones or something. Hmm, I don't know. I think it's too far away. There's probably some really long tube or cable or something that connects us all the way to Earth, don't you think? You think? Hmm, that would be kind of tricky having something reach that far. And I don't remember seeing anything like that. Hmm, I don't know. Then there's only one thing to do. It's Yay! experiment time! <laughs> Let's build our own big tube and see if we can get it to reach all the way to Earth. Ah, uh, yay! Yeah. <laughs> yay! That's a good idea. But I was thinking maybe first, we just see if we can find out if there already is one on the space station. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, where should we look first? Right here! Anyone see anything? I don't. Me neither. Let's try in the observation center. Anyone see anything? Nothing. Not me. Nothing here either. Hmm. Oh my! I have to feed my owl! I'll be right back! Oh, if only we could really get a good look outside the space station. <laughs> That's a great idea! Let's make believe we're astronauts! With jetpacks! Astronauts! 
astronauts. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you can't catch. Hey, wait for me. <gasps> what? <gasps> I forgot just how enormous the space station really is. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. It's gonna take a while to check that much space station. <laughs> then we'd better get to work. Mm. Ooh. Woo -hoo! Hey, what's that? What? Where? What? Right mm. there. It looks like an antenna. Mm. Whoa! Whoa! What's that? What's I don't that? know, but I just have to find out. Come on, boys. Luna, what do you think that was? I'm not sure, but it must have something to do with our investigation. Investigation? Wow, tell me more. I love investigation. We're scientists, and we're in a scientific investigation. Whoa! Scientific investigations are the best kind of investigations. What are we investigating? We're trying to find out how people on the space station can communicate with people on Earth. Yeah, it's so far away. But we did find a clue, an antenna. Oh, that's a very important clue. You should pay special attention to it. The waves you just saw were a video call. Really? I didn't see anything but satellite, just the radio waves. Ah, yes, the radio waves. Radio waves? You're wondering about communication between Earth and the space station. A few steps and a transmission. Just listen up to my explanation. Ring, 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 ring a ling, -ling. Calls in space are amazing things. Ring, 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 ring a ling, -ling. Makes me want to sing, sing. Into waves of sound. It happens so fast, but there is a delay, especially when the call comes from far away. Ring, 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 ring a ling, -ling. Calls in space are amazing things. Ring, 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 ring a ling, -ling. Makes me want to sing, sing, sing. Wow! So when I was talking to my friends, my call was converted to radio waves which made their way through space to you. Then you sent them back down to Earth. Uh-huh. Amazing! No wonder it took so long for them to answer back. <laughs> <laughs> that's the delay. You should try calling Mars. Now that's a delay. Mars? Mars? Yeah, then it can take up to 20 to 30 minutes for your call to get there. Wow! wow. I wonder how long it would take to call Jupiter. I'm talking about the planet, and not me. <laughs> or Saturn! <gasps> or Neptune! Neptune? <laughs> wow, now you're talking hours. Wow, it would be very difficult to sing happy birthday with that much delay. Wow, this is the best experience ever! Bye, Mr. Satellite. Bye! I never imagined communication in space was so neat! We still have to tell Kia! Without delay! <laughs> Yay! We put on our jetpacks and explored the space station inside and out! We even flew out all the way into space! And we learned all sorts of fascinating things about communicating in space! Wondering about communication between Earth and the space station. A few steps in the transmission. Just listen up to my explanation. Ring, 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 ring a ling. -ling. Calls in space are amazing things. Ring, 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 ring a ling. -ling. Makes me 
a show? Don't worry, we can do it again. And this time, Kia can help. Yay! <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's get ready. Hang on. I just want a snack first. Hey, what could have happened to my apple? It's brown. <laughs> That's just what happens to apples when they get old. But I wonder why. Why do apples turn brown, and what makes food go bad? Oh, so many questions! La, 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 la. On the space station! Super gigantic biggest tower in the world. Almost. Yeah, and it's not easy to build a tower this big. No, it's not. You've got to be really smart. Hey, kiddos. Hey, Dad. Hey, Mom. Hello. Oh, my. What a huge tower. Who's going to live at the top? It's the biggest tower in the world. That's great. Hey, we're going somewhere really interesting. Yeah, it's going to be like a science fair. Do you want to come? Science fair? Of course we want to go. Right, Scientist Jupiter? Scientist Clyde? Affirmative. <laughs> Neato. 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 Luna, this stuff is all so neat. It's amazing. Just imagine an elevator that goes from Earth to space. We could go see Grandma and Grandpa every weekend. <laughs> but do you think they can really make an elevator like that? I wonder, how would a space elevator work? I've got to know. I've just got to know what's happening here. What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Let's figure it out. I just gotta know what this is all about. Jupiter, Clyde, do you know the most scientific way to do an investigation? Do a scientific mm. investigation? <laughs> And we're going to do it with an experiment. But there's already tons of experiments here. But we're only going to learn if we make our very own model. And I already know of a model that needs an elevator. <gasps> our super gigantic biggest tower in the world. Wow, just imagine going up by stairs. There must be 20 million stairs. Yeah, it 
it's a good thing we're going to make an elevator for Elijah. That's true, but how do you make an elevator? I don't know yet. Let's look for some supplies at home that we can build it with. <laughs> Now what, Luna? Hmm, I think the first step should be putting Elijah in our elevator. Get in here, Elijah. That's it. With a spring, you think? Oh. <laughs> this elevator is more like a trampoline. <laughs> hmm, what if we used a piece of rope? Luna, do all the elevators have a giant pulling them up? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. And it'd have to be a gigantic giant to pull an elevator from Earth. So, did you guys like the fair? We loved it! Yeah! Especially the elevator one. We're even making our very own elevator. It's so Elijah could go for super gigantic biggest tower in the world. Can I see? Sure! Going up! Ta-da! That's great! Very good, you guys! Well done! Ooh, I have an idea that might make it a little easier. You can use this like a pulley to pull the rope. Honey, look at this! Pulley? Interesting! Very interesting! <gasps> I got it! <laughs> Needle! It'd have to be a gigantic giant to pull an elevator from Earth. And to be really strong to pull an elevator. Boys, we need to see this up close. Let's make believe we're in the future. And there's already a space elevator. We're going to the future? Yay! <laughs> we're in the future! Woohoo! I want to take an elevator to space. I think it's over there. Wow, the future is so futuristic. <laughs> Curious. I don't see any pulleys. But this elevator has a rope just like ours. Except it's really big. Look at it. Let's go. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Space Elevator. It's a pleasure to have you on this trip to Alpha Station with stops at Antares, Celeste, Royal, and Marina Stations. Attention passengers, please find your seats. Make sure they are in their upright positions and buckle your seat belts, please. My name is Sakiko, and I'll be taking care of you today. Crew, prepare for trip initiation. Five, four, three, two, one, going up! Oh. Yeah. yeah! We're going to the space station, Luna! This is the best experience ever! Woohoo! Mm, it sure is! Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We've needed some transport for so long. Some sort of transport, practical yet strong. To bring and take material and anything essential. To get to the space station, an elevator is the solution. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But working with wire is hard, you see, it doesn't come easily. A wire thin but tough, that will be strong enough. Elevators are the future, practical and safe for sure. Traveling on an elevator, hopefully sooner than later. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were still on Earth the whole time? Are we almost there? The trip is 36,000 kilometers and will take one week. 
36,000? That's really, really far! A week? Wow! Oh, yes, yes. It's much farther than from Earth to the space station Antares. Antares, that's where we live. Antares will be the next stop. Great! Boys, I think we'd better stay here. Let's get off. Thanks, Akiko. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Bye, have a nice day, and thanks for traveling with us. Yeah, especially after such a long trip. A trip? But where did you go? Mom, Dad, we went on the most amazing trip in the world today. Not in the world, in space. <laughs> and we have the most incredible show for you guys. Luna, too bad Grandma and Grandpa couldn't see the show, huh? Yeah, it's too bad there's not a space Ooh. elevator yet. They'd love this show. Oh, mm. but I can film it. Yeah, and we can send it to them. Yay! <laughs> Good idea. Come on, boys. <laughs> yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We've needed some transport for so long. Some sort of transport, practical yet strong. Take material and anything essential to get to the space station. An elevator is a solution. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But working with wire is hard, you see. It doesn't come easily. A wire thin but tough that will be strong enough. Elevators are the future, practical and safe for sure. Traveling on an sooner than later. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Woohoo! Yay, Wonderful! Yay, yay. So great! You guys danced really well. I'm going to send this to Grandma and Grandpa. Thanks! But how can a cell phone record a video? And how does the video get to Earth? Through the internet? How does the internet work? Oh, so many questions! La, 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 la. On the space station! Papaya. No luck. It's your turn, Luna. Okay. Pineapple. Ah! An apple. I've already seen that card. <laughs> Here's the apple, and here, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I did it. Well done, Jupiter, you got it. That makes me want an apple. Well, then, let's get you one, Jupiter. Come on. Good morning. Hi. Can I have one apple, please? One moment. Oh, I'm sorry. We seem to be out of apples. Oh, no. Now what? I know. Let's go to the orchard. Yeah. Hi, kids. Hi, Mahar. What are you wearing? Are you an orchid astronaut? <laughs> no, these clothes protect me from bees. There's bees here? There are. Why are there bees on the space station? The bees help the plants. They have a very important job. Want to see? Yeah! yeah! Bees on the space station? Important job? And how do bees help plants anyways? What's happening here? I've just got to know! Ah! 
What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Let's figure it out. I just gotta know what this is all about. I've got to go now. You're safe, but please be careful. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye, no, Mahara. Scientist Jupiter, Scientist Clyde, do you see any bees? Um, huh? There aren't any bees here, Luna. Do you think they're sleeping right now? <gasps> Over there, a bee! Luna, I think she works on that other row. Let's go over there. Let's follow her. Do you see where she went? No. Luna, look at that pretty flower. How pretty. Maybe the bee is inside there? No, the bee isn't in the flower. Oops, a bee. That's a big bee. I recorded it. Let's watch it again. Luna, do you think she was cleaning the flower? I'm not sure yet, but where did she go now? <laughs> I don't think she's cleaning the flower. So she's just making a big old mess? <laughs> There's only one way to find out. How? By making believe that we're bees. We're bees. <laughs> and we're fast. Whoa. What a pretty flower. Where? Over there. What a soft flower. <laughs> You're right. And these things stick to us. Excuse me. Are you eating the flower? <laughs> Not exactly. I'm actually taking the nectar from this flower back to the hive. Really? Wow. Yeah, you should try it. It's really good. Mmm. It's so sweet. <gasps> Is that how you guys make honey? Exactly. Each bee takes a bit of nectar back to the hive, and that's where we make the honey. Mm. It tastes like... like honey. <laughs> it's delicious. I think so, too. Sometimes I just fly around from flower to flower the whole day. I want to fly to a thousand flowers. Mm, I want more than that. <laughs> That's a lot for just one day. Too little time. Oh, yeah? How many flowers can you fly to in one day? Oh. My record was 100 flowers oh. in just one day. Wow. wow. <laughs> oh, my, your feet are all dirty. <laughs> it's not dirt, it's pollen. Pollen? Yeah, pollen from my friend Flora. Flora! Hi, Zaya. Morning. Lots of people today, huh? Hi, Flora. I thought that bees helped the plants. But now I'm starting to think it's the plants that help the bees. What do you say, Flora? Should we tell them? Sure. For all these flowers to grow, Everywhere you see, it's thanks to the pollen carried by the little bee. Flowers don't have wings, and bees don't have nectar. But if they help each other, it all comes together. Honey bees make honey, flowers make fruit. Yes, that's pollination. Yeah. 
fruit to grow. And the flowers give nectar that turns into honey. That's right. <laughs> Who wants to see the honey? Me. Come on. <laughs> It's this way. Little bee, the hive is back over there. No, no. My hive is that way. Which one is yours? Hi, Zoana. Come see our hive. Wow, you guys are really different. Oh, yeah. There's lots of types of bees. Just here on Antares, there's more than 100 different bees. And back on Earth, there are even more types. Wow, that's amazing. Wow, and we can eat all of their honey? Actually, not all bees make honey, but let's just start with my hive. <gasps> wow. Wow, this place is amazing! And smells good! It smells like honey! Come on! Have you found any flowers? No, not yet, Luna. <laughs> ah, this flower smells so sweet. Can I smell it? You're right, Luna. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're playing pollination. Pollination? Hi, kids. Mm. Well, did you like the orchard? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And the bees, too. Bees? Yeah, the bees that help the plants. And the plants that help the bees. Mm-hmm. How? Oh, you're going to have to see our show to find out. Yay! Yay! For all these flowers to grow everywhere you see, it's thanks to the pollen carried by the little bee. Flowers don't have wings, and bees don't have nectar. But if they help each other, it all comes together. Honey bees make honey, flowers make fruit. Yes, that's pollination. Honey bees make honey, flowers make fruit. It's good for everyone. Bully, bully, bully. Honey bees and flowers bully, bully, bully. And now, who's ready for some fruit? Me! Me too! <laughs> this apple is really sweet. This pineapple is a little sour. <laughs> How about some honey? Mmm! Now it's nice and sweet. Hmm, is sour the opposite of sweet? Does everything sweet have sugar? How do you make sugar? Oh, so many questions! La 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 Luna 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 La 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 Luna The questions and adventures never end How do lights turn on? Where have dinosaurs gone? Can the wind sing a song? Are there really black swans? Why do people yawn? Where the stars at dawn? The questions and adventures never end A day at the beach. <sighs> Planet Earth is so beautiful. It's amazing. That's why this is my favorite place in the space station. <laughs> Luna, can we see our house from here? Or Grandpa's house? Can we? I don't know. Hmm, let me see. I wonder if I can see my house from here. Where is it, Kia? My house? It's in Togo, Africa. You can't see it from here. We'll have to wait until the next rotation. Oh, okay. Mm, but 
What's that place right down there? Wow, it's really green there. Maybe it's a, a huge farm? <laughs> the Amazon is the largest tropical forest on the planet and has the largest variety of living beings in a tropical forest in the world. A map! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're right over South America now. So all that green must be the Amazon. Green and white, right? Because I saw a ton of clouds. You're right. It must be raining there. Antares, is it raining in the Amazon? The current chance of rain is 99%. 99%! I knew it! Luna, I saw on TV that the air we breathe comes from the Amazon. Really? The Amazon makes air for the entire world? But... What about here on the station? Where does the air we breathe come from? I've just got to know! Me too! What's, What's happening, happening here? here? What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Let's figure it out. I just gotta know what this is all about. If the air we breathe comes from plants, then we need to go where there are lots of plants. Like a forest! Yeah! We'll do a scientific experiment there! Yay! Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn, Clyde. Hey, Jupiter! Kia and I are going on a scientific investigation. Do you want to come? Yeah! <laughs> it's so neat to have a forest on the space station. <laughs> oh! What are you doing? If air comes from the plants, we should be able to breathe better close to the leaves. Let me try. Hmm. <laughs> Did you feel anything? Not me. Luna, but what does air smell like? I don't think it has a smell. <laughs> you can't see it either. Yeah, you can't see the leaves make air. Ah, oh, it's nice to get a little more oxygen in our lungs, isn't it? Hey, Max! Oh. The air we breathe is oxygen? I'd better write that down. It's a mixture of oxygen, nitrogen, and other gases. Nitrogen. Thank you, Max. All right, Kia. Time for your botany assistant training. Huh? Did you forget that you were going to help me plant some seedlings? Oh, that's right! Guys, I have botany assistant training now. I'll be back. <laughs> See you later. Bye, Kia. <laughs> now, we know what air is made out of. So we just have to find out what that oxygen stuff is. <laughs> You're right. So I say, let's make believe we're oxygen. <laughs> yeah! Wow. We're oxygen! Yay! It's fun being oxygen. I'm Jupiter Jen. <laughs> now we just have to figure out where we came from. <gasps> Look! Over by the water! Let's go Whoa. see! <laughs> Do you think huh? oxygen comes from water? Maybe oxygen likes to go swimming. I could go for a little dip in water myself. <laughs> Wow, wow, this beach is really crowded. And they're all green. This is the best experience ever. Luna, if we don't wear sunscreen when we're in the sun, do we turn green? If humans don't wear sunscreen outside, they turn red. But we're not humans right now. Neither of those green thingies. <laughs> they sure seem to like hanging out on the beach. But what are they? Hmm? Let's investigate. Hmm. I think she just tooted. Who, <laughs> <laughs> oh, me? No way! Those bubbles are oxygen! 
You're right! It's oxygen, like us! But doesn't oxygen come from trees? <sighs> Everybody always thinks oxygen comes from trees. But what are these green thingies, huh? See? He doesn't even know what we are. Oh, dear. Don't be so upset. We'll tell them all about us. Okay. Maybe then they'll tell their friends who will tell their friends and then everybody will know! Yeah! Everyone always thinks it's the trees that make all the air. The air that's breathed everywhere. But that's not right, you see. Cause out here in the big blue sea there's tons of hard-working algae. We may be small, but we're everywhere, it's true. In the oceans and lakes, rivers and ponds, too. We get our energy from the sun in the sky. And then we get to work making oxygen, no lie. Whether in salt, water, or fresh, it simply is the best. And on the space station, we are quite the sensation. Oh, I see. That's why you like the sun so much. Yeah, the sun is important for all living beings. Guys, what are you doing here? I was looking all over the forest for you. Kia, you have no idea. Most of the air we breathe comes from here. Look, from this lake. Air comes from this lake? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, from the algae in the water. Come see. Wow, the water has little green balls. Yeah. Those green balls are the microalgae. Microalgae? Yeah, and we'll tell you all about them. <laughs> I'm listening, but not yet. We will in a super fun musical show. Yeah, the algae wanted us to tell everyone about them. That's true. I'll invite my parents. Did you know that most of the oxygen doesn't come from plants? Hmm, it... Doesn't? Uh-huh. Everyone always thinks it's the trees that make all the air. The air that's breathed everywhere. But that's not right, you see. Out in the big blue sea, there's tons of to the oxygen the plants in the Amazon make? Mm, what? There are so many living things here that they almost use all the oxygen that they make. Wow! Oh, Luna, this hologram theater is so cool. <laughs> Thanks. Mm, but I wonder how holograms work. How does the image just appear in the air? Let's start a new investigation. Oh, so many questions. <laughs> la, 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 Luna. On the space station. 